जरा इधर देख लो इफ दिस इज वैक्टर ए दिस इज वैक्टर बी सो वट वी विल डू विल ड्रॉ ए वैक्टर इक्वल इन मैग्निट्यूड टू द फर्स्ट वैक्टर ए then we will join the tail of second vector with the head of first and we will draw a vector in the same direction of the same magnitude yeah so if we are drawing a vector from initial position of first to the final point of second what we will get yeah we will get the resultant and that resultant is equal to yeah vector a plus vector b look towards this R is equal to a plus b. If theta is equal to zero, now the direction of the resultant. For the direction of the resultant, we will make use of this equation. So tan of beta is equal to yeah, that is b sine of theta that is zero divided by a plus b cos of zero. Since sine of zero is zero. Multiplied by b is zero. Divided by anything is zero. So this is zero. Tan of beta is equal to zero. So कब होता है tan zero? बोलिएगा ना? हाँ, yes. So that is tan of zero. Tan and tan will go. So beta is equal to zero. Beta is equal to zero means the resultant is in the direction of the vectors. That is clear from this figure. If a and b are in the same direction, the resultant is also having the direction of the vectors, and that information we are getting from this that beta is equal to zero. So, next, if theta is 90, what do you understand by this? That theta is 90. Yeah, yeah. This means the two vectors are perpendicular. Yeah, ये आ गया इधर. The two vectors are perpendicular. So perpendicular vectors में हमें निकालना है वो इस magnitude and direction of the resultant. So magnitude of resultant will be equal to yeah that is equal to root of a square plus b square plus two ab cos of ninety yeah. So that is equal to root of sinus cos of ninety is zero. So that is equal to root of A square plus B square. Yeah, please remember the magnitude of resultant in case of the perpendicular vectors is equal to root of A square plus B square and direction of resultant. We'll get it from this equation. So tan of beta is equal to B sine of 90. Perpendicular vectors की बात हो रही है. Divided by A plus B Cos of 90, sin sine of 90 is 1, so that is b divided by a plus b cos of 90 is 0, that is 0, that is b by a. So b a हो गया. We can write it. It is y component divided by x component. Yeah. So remember this equation. These are the final equations. With the help of these equations, we can calculate what is the magnitude and direction of resultant in case of triangle or in case of the parallelogram. Now, let's talk about one special question. Okay, if two of uh, forces let me say, if two forces to of different books man and different study materials be in the different values, they say. For example, Gomer and Gogia has used if two forces of four newton each are inclined to each other by some angle, this angle will vary. Okay, you try with one angle with me. Let the angle be 60. Okay, be ready. Two forces of four newton each are acting on a 